Folks, what pitcher did not bat ninth in a World Series game? Ooh, okay, let's go. Folks, I jumped the gun on the coffee, but that's okay. It's delicious. Let's have some. Let's have some trivia. Adam, we have some World Series trivia. Yeah, so I mentioned that I have some new 2024 trivia. It's from a familiar source. And what I noticed is they really, they took, they, they said, you know what we need for 2024 <laughs> is the most <laughs> obscure questions you never thought of asking. So that's coming your way this week, folks. So yep. we're starting off with what pitcher did not bat ninth in a World Series game. And this is based on the way the question is written. Mm -hmm. There's there is more than one correct answer. The question is name the only pitchers not to bat ninth in a World Series game. Okay. So our options are Granky, Zach Granky, Jim Cott, Babe Ruth, and Warren Spawn. Aaron, you're away. Who you got? So I got a question for you. Do we want to in this new year? as we're addressing new questions here like this, and we get the multiples, if we guess multiple correct, we mm -hmm. get multiple runs. Well, I feel like along with that would be if you get any wrong, wrong. it would subtract. Because otherwise you'd be like, I just guess them all. <laughs> guess all, guess all. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, maybe we won't go that route. Okay, I mean, fair enough. So we, I mean, we could, right. but we're just gonna have to put that on the table. Okay, so I'm gonna go with. <laughs> I'm gonna go with all of them. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with. Um... Gosh, Ruth sounds like an <laughs> like a good option. They play in the World Series though. Let's go with. I feel like Grinky did this. All right, I'm belaboring this a little bit too much. Let's go. I'll just go with Ruth. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going Grinky. Analytics era. Sometimes they, you know, the Tony La Russa thing where you bat. I don't know he didn't play for La Russa, but yeah, bat, I mean, Dodgers though, right? Did he, yeah. did he was in a series with the Dodgers. I'm trying to think who he was in a series with. Royals maybe early yeah. anyway yeah well we're gonna we're gonna find out that's what's mm -hmm. gonna happen okay the correct answer is both Babe Ruth mm -hmm. and Zach Granke man could have gone with look, both because because look at us. <laughs> look at us so here we go here's our context game four of the 1918 World Series Babe Ruth hit sixth. Mm -hmm. for the Red Sox, and delivered the decisive blow, a two-run triple in the fourth that helped win the game 3-2. to two. Okay. Red, Red Sox won that series in six. Um, let's see. Hmm. Granke hit eighth for the Astros in game four of the 21 World Series. He had a single okay. and two at bats. He was removed after just four innings, even though he was up two to nothing. Braves won three to two. Mm. Uh huh. This is Martin Maldonado batting ninth. <laughs> Could have been. <laughs> Probably had to have been. That was the series I remember, or the that playoff series. Uh, Martin Maldonado, not a good hitter, and like getting worse by the minute. And he like literally just moved closer to the plate. Like every at bat, he would like move a little bit closer and he got hit by pitch. Um, it was just like, I don't know. I mean, that's fine. But like as a pitcher, I feel like, I mean, that's a, a lot of pressure when somebody's like right on top of the plate. But still, it's like, bro, can't hit. Like you throw it right down the middle, right he, can't get it, yeah. he can't get his hands to it. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, we can do. So, did well, you ever look? So here, or I don't know we're looking at the scoreboard, but yeah. do you remember ever pitching like to somebody who was just like on top of the plate and like? Made yeah, it 
a, a little bit. No one in particular, like I don't, I don't remember like one player who I faced mm-hmm. over and over again who did that. But every so often there would be someone crowd on the plate. I had a hard time with it. It stressed me out. So I, tend, <laughs> I, I tended to pitch, pitch away. Um, mm-hmm. And I had, I had more of a difficult time with short batters where the zone was small. Yeah. Uh, just getting it in the zone. So I would tend to just throw a lot of fastballs because um, mm-hmm. a lot of times the, the real short hitters were when, when we played, were like skinny little guys who I was like, he's probably not hitting a bomb off me. So I'll just throw it in there. Yeah. I mean, a lot of these guys like th- that you're referring to are like, often they'd be like a freshman, sophomore, they haven't yeah. really grown. I mean, they're effectively yeah. middle school players, um, you know, better skilled perhaps. But in terms of like they, their body hasn't, I mean, most high, I mean, high school kids aren't fully developed at that point anyway. But, you know, yeah, you're throwing, um, you know, you're throwing the high 70s, low 80s. You know, these kids are <laughs> yeah, and doing anything with it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, <laughs> so anyway. Well, folks, thanks for hanging with us. Uh, thanks for uh, doing some trivia, having some coffee. We'll be back out tomorrow.